from the start of the 2017 Giro d'Italia in Sardinia. This is 2015 Giro stage winner Davide Formolo's Cannondale Super 6 Evo. Speaking with the mechanics over at the Cannondale team, this is actually Formolo's first race frame of the year. So it's the one race bike that he's had from January and we're now in May of 2017. So it shows that pros don't get a new bike every race. What has been replaced, however, are the consumables. So we're before the 2017 Giro d'Italia. He has got brand new tires. He's had a new chain has a relatively new cassette and fresh bar tape too. Onto the spec of the bike and starting at the top, Formolo has a Physique Alianti 00 saddle, so that's Physique's absolute top of the range, lightest saddles available. He's got a couple of little silver dots on there, it's probably made with a silver marker pen that's just to allow them to get his position absolutely nailed bike to bike. Moving forward from that, he's got an FSA stem, that's aluminium, FSA handlebars, also aluminium, Physique grip bar tape, and Shimano Durace Di2 shifters, and they are the 9100, not the newer 9170 version. As this is from a team that was formerly title sponsored by Garmin, it's no surprise to still see Garmin devices on all of the riders' bikes. Mechs, like the shifters, are also Durace Di2. However, the chain set is not Shimano. That is a Cannondale SISL2 chain set with an SRM power meter integrated. Chain rings on that are both provided by FSA. The cassette and pedals are both Shimano, as are the brakes, and the brakes are the older version, not the direct mount version on this frame. The bottle cages are provided by Tax, as are the bottles, and the seat post, like the bars and stem, is FSA. However, differently to the bars and stem, that's a carbon fibre seat post, not an aluminium one. The wheels and tyres, like all of the Cannondale Drapak team bikes, are both provided by Mavic. The wheels are the latest in the Cosmic Ultimate line, they are the Cosmic SSC, and the tyres are stamped Mavic SSC. SSC stands for Special Service Course, so that's likely a pro-only version. In terms of trick bits, there are a few things I should point out. There's his number holder, that's provided by K3, and that's zip tied to the seat post. He's got his name sticker, you've got to have a name sticker. This one has a slight twist though, because it has the team's Argyle pattern on it too, I think that's quite cool. And the bottom bracket is ceramic speed, so the team are using ceramic bearings which are provide slightly less rolling resistance which helps the guys to move forward faster. One final point of interest is the heat shrink wrap that keeps the DI2 wires in with the brake cables and stops them from getting too damaged or anything like that. Formolo has got a section here which we're used to seeing on most pro bikes but it's also heat shrink wrapped underneath the bar tape so he's got it on handlebars too. I don't think I've ever seen that on a pro bike before. So Formolo's saddle height comes in at around 78 centimetres and his reach is very long, 60 centimetres, and that is in part caused by this massive 15 centimetre stem. His handlebars are 42 centimetres centre to centre. Gear ratios, he's got a 38 inner chainring and a 53 outer chainring. So the 38 is as small as you can go on a 130 BCD chain set, which this one is. So it's not quite a compact, but goes a little bit easier. The cassette is an 11 through to 28, which is pretty much the standard on all pro bikes. Now, the tires come in at 24.70 millimeters. These are incredibly light bikes, so it's probably a harder job for the mechanics to actually weigh them down rather than get them super, super light. This one comes in at 6.9 kilograms. Do let us know what you think of Davide Formolo's Cannondale Super 6 Evo down in the comments and hit thumbs up and give this video a share too. If you haven't already subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, just click on our logo, which is on screen now, and there's also a link to our shop on screen too. To see more videos from the 2017 Giro d'Italia, click right there, and to see another very cool Pro Bike video, click there. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up.